today's makeup tutorial I came up with this very doom and doobiness <laughs> what am I saying hey what's up guys Michelle here welcome back to my channel so for today's makeup tutorial I came up with this very dewy luminous easy makeup using only drugstore products now going back to school I know everyone's pocket is kind of emptying with all the books and all the stuff you really need you'd think that it was like high-end products but no girl it's not and I also used two new things from the drugstore well they're fairly new here at least uh, in my area because I didn't find these products anywhere I think it's just because all the CVS and Walgreens and Walmarts in my area like everyone there's just lazy like for them to restock is just if you live in my area you know what I'm talking about I use the new covergirl vitalist foundation and the L'Oreal luminous mascara I use these two. These were the two main things in the makeup tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I feel about them, you have to keep on watching or just skip over whatever, same thing. I basically wanted to do this makeup tutorial kind of how I used to do my makeup in high school with how I would do it now and just kind of like splat them together, I guess you can say. A little fun fact, I actually did graduate high school already. I graduated four beautiful years ago, a class of 2013 from Felix Varela here in Miami, Florida. If you guys didn't know that already, yes, I'm from Florida. I absolutely loved high school. Like, thinking about it now, like, I had some bomb ass times, good memories, I have the greatest friends, like I have so many memories, so many stories to tell, like I'm like an old lady going through like a midlife crisis, like I'm constantly talking about high school, always. I'm always saying, this is what happened in high school, this story, and I constantly repeat myself, like I'm, I'm really, really annoying. But if you knew me in my senior year, I hated it, I hated everyone around me, I hated going to school, I hated the thought of school, like I just wanted to graduate, I started skipping school, I know my mom's watching this, like she's gonna kill me later. I started skipping school, like I didn't like it, like I just wanted to hang out with my friends who already graduated, and I wanted to go out and party and do all this stuff, which is fucking ridiculous. But I was fun, other than being a troublemaker, I was fun, I was responsible, ish like even though like if i were to ever sneak out or something like that like i was safe like i wasn't stupid you know sorry mom <laughs> but yeah in high school i wasn't a fan of makeup i mean i was but it wasn't like my like forte like i really didn't mind it i would use my mom's makeup my grandma's makeup like my friend's sister's makeup like i wasn't really into it maybe towards my senior year and after i graduated i kind of got into it like just bit but me doing makeup in school was kind of like odd if you saw me ever wearing makeup or doing my hair my friends would be like huh so it would be on good days if there was a pep rally if I knew I was gonna see someone in the halls like on certain days little stupid things like that is when I would do my makeup and my two products that I would basically use and be like in my makeup bag were the MAC studio fix powders I would literally just use that and like a little powder puff 
and some mascara and I would just walk out the door like that was my thing like I had no idea what the hell highlighter was I had no idea what contouring was like I see makeup pictures of like me before and I'm like girl what were you thinking like I wish there's like 14 15 year old girls who do their makeup so much better than I do now and it's just it's it's insane it's crazy it's crazy and if you guys are wondering what's up with all this pink and stuff this sweater was actually one of my best friends sweater and that I borrowed once like in her house or something I don't remember but I somehow still have it and I loved it this all this is all I would wear basically in school and mind you my school started getting strict towards my senior year about sweaters we were only allowed to wear green white gray or black jackets and like plain it couldn't have any prints no words no nothing unless you got it at the school and here was little old Michelle like just prancing around in her pink sweater wearing the sandals that she couldn't wear because that was just me so I just had to wear it because it still fits me too and it's it's there's a lot of memories with this jacket a lot of memories I kept my glasses on the top because that's how I would usually wear it like this this is like an improved me four years later ish even though I was adorable in high school like I see pictures and I'm like my youth but yeah enough of me blabbing about high school like this is where I said like I was gonna start going all around the place now I'm just going to just chit chat a little bit on my advice for anyone who is going back to high school or who is entering high school my best advice is enjoy it to the fullest you can get those years back number two be yourself everyone is gonna like you more for you being yourself trust me nobody likes anyone trying to be someone else don't do it don't try it like it's no don't listen to the so-called bullies or mean girls or mean boys like like I said before when you graduate it's not gonna matter you're never gonna see them stay out of trouble don't give the wrong people the time of day and attention I promise you that's what they want do you keep it going flip your hair and that's it all they want is they just feed off of like negativity and shit like don't give it to them even positivity like radiate yourself like put that beaming highlight keep it going walk and that is it girl that was my best thing in high school i never gave anyone the time of day don't fight don't do any of that stupid shit i promise you it's not cute you don't look cute at all having a nasty attitude all wanting to do is just fight I, it's not ugh. if you like this video also make sure to give it a big thumbs up show your girl some love if you haven't subscribed subscribe already it would mean the world to me we are almost at 7k and yeah guys if you would like to see how i came up with this easy fast dewy luminous makeup look using only drugstore products please keep on watching good morning and welcome back to school so to get started i'm going to moisturize my face with my favorite pons cream moisturizer my skin sometimes likes to wake up with some dry patches so i always like to moisturize before i do my makeup and then my lips usually also wake up pretty dry, so I'm going to hydrate them with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I absolutely love this stuff my mom put me on. Thanks, mom. And then I'm just going to fill in my brows. Nothing too crazy. This NYX brow pencil is amazing. It's definitely changed the game for me. And yeah, I'm just going to clean them up just a tad bit. Michelle in high school probably wouldn't even do her brows, but I mean, for the sake of this video, you know. And then, you know, I like to conceal before I do my foundation. It just gives me a better canvas to work with, and it's going to make me look much more awake, at least in my opinion. And color correcting can get a little annoying sometimes. So I'm just going to conceal and clean under my brows. I hope you guys also enjoyed the clip at the beginning of the video. I used to have this super cheap webcam that me and my bestest friends used to love recording ourselves on, like just doing a whole bunch of random stuff. So I remember I had this video on Facebook and now you can actually download like your albums and videos on Facebook. So I said, why not? It's a little embarrassing, but I wanted it to be a little closer to home and make the video a little more personal than usual back to school videos. And then for the start of the show, I'll be using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy elixir foundation i've been dying to try this i was looking for this forever for like weeks i would go to my drugstore stores drugstore stores and i would look for it and i couldn't find it until i finally found it in target and i was so happy let me tell you something guys this is a definite game changer for me too this is definitely going to be my go-to foundation it's lightweight it's buildable coverage it feels like it's nothing on the skin it's just so good and it also has SPF 20, which is 
awesome. Not only that, it smells amazing. When I first tried it, I was like, is it my sponge because I just washed it? Is it because I just took a shower? Is it my perfume? I was so confused. I've never ever use a foundation that smelled this good guys honestly 10 out of 10 for me i definitely say you guys should go out and buy it it's lightweight and pretty full coverage so really really good there and then i'm going to conceal with my maybelline age rewind concealer one of my favorite concealers in the drugstore i love it i love how it blends out it's an easy blend and full coverage i have really bad under eye circles i always have even when i was in high school so a good concealer was always a good thing you know and with any of the concealer that was left over, I like to put it on my lid as well because I am going to put just a tiny, tiny bit of shadow and I'm going to set that with the Maybelline Setting Powder in Light. This is, I believe, like the fourth time using it and I actually really like it. It is a little drying so I wouldn't recommend to leave it on for too long but to just set it really, really quick, it's absolutely awesome. I love it. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Fit Me Face Powder. And to bronze up my face, I'll be using the Physician's Formula Bronzer in Light. I do have a pretty round face, so bronzing to me is essential. And yeah, I got this in light. I wish I would have gotten it a little, little darker just because it kind of gave me like a gray undertone-ish type thing. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Then I just went in with my L'Oreal Face Powder in C6. You guys know I absolutely love this powder. I use this in basically all of my videos. This is just a regular face powder just a little darker so it blends really really smoothly and nicely even though I did go a little height a little haywire but what's a video without me going a little too much you know but then I just went in with a flat kabuki brush with my Maybelline fit me powder and I just cleaned it all up so it's like nothing happened and for blush, you can never go wrong with Milani Luminoso. I've actually had this blush for so long that it's the old formula. It's the one that's a little more orange. Now they make it a little more pink, but it goes to show you how much I really don't use blush all that much. And then just to give my eyes a little life because they were looking a little pale, I just went in with the same bronzer that we went in. Well, not really the bronzer, the face powder in C6. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid just to give my eyes some color nothing fancy I'm literally putting that color all over and then I'm also going to drag that color on my lower lash line as well I won't be adding any eyeliner just mascara when I was in high school and I would put on eyeliner really early in the morning I would just end up looking 10 times more tired than I already was so I wouldn't really recommend putting on like really exaggerated eyeliner especially early in the morning if you're in school because it's just not gonna help you out you're just gonna look a lot more tired and then I went in with my L'Oreal Voluminous mascara I know I said luminous in the beginning of the video it's just I don't know it's the first thing that came out and I got this in waterproof only because I like waterproof mascaras more than regular mascaras I feel like they just like put up a lot more and they last longer plus I don't have a lot of eyelashes so if they were to fall out it really just doesn't make a difference to me and I love it it's really really nice it made a huge different difference on my eyelashes even though you can't really tell because again I have newborn eyelashes but it really really did make a big difference I wanted to put on lashes so bad but I wanted to stay realistic because I knew if I was in school I wouldn't put on eyelashes nobody got time for that in the morning and then for highlight I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Illuminator in golden you guys know I love this stuff and to finish it off I just went in with my Rimmel oh my gloss and I think 120 I'll leave down below exactly which gloss it was and yeah guys that's about it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it it was definitely a fun one for me if you guys have any requests feel free to leave it down below I love you guys and I will see you next time